Ubisoft. The once magnificent gaming company which was responsible for the birth of some amazing gaming franchises which we all are pretty familiar with. But fast forward to 2024, things are not looking too great for them. Especially with their biggest franchise to date, Assassin's Creed. A game series set in multiple historical eras with mysterious hooded figures who became fan favorite. But why is that in the present times, everyone is seen hating them? Why Assassin's Creed Shadows was so hated that it eventually got delayed to next year? And most important of all, what is the curse of Assassin's Creed? Let's do a deep analysis of this topic in this video and find out if it's real or just an illusion. These are fact spitters and let's begin. To understand this topic in detail, we have to discuss some history, well, not all of it, but some important aspects, so that we get an idea of what it used to be. Assassin's Creed is focused on three fundamental principles which consist of Stealth, the most obvious one, Parkour, the most defining and famous one, and lastly, historical accuracy, which is seen missing nowadays. Other elements like combat and exploration are a must for any open world game but these three make up this whole franchise. But unfortunately, in the recent times, we're only getting 25% of this. Instead, we have linear parkour system which involves you pressing one single button and the character runs and climbs. Stealth on the other hand is broken with unrealistic detection mechanics resulting in taking away the feel of being an actual assassin and historical accuracy, well, that is their least favorite subject nowadays. But let me tell you, this wasn't always the case. Back in 2007, when they converted Prince of Persia Assassins into Assassin's Creed, they wanted it to be as grounded as possible. Minus the Isu storyline which surprisingly enough, if we pay attention, also seems quite realistic. The whole idea of godlike beings existing on the earth and them using the pieces of Eden to perform the miracles that were later immortalized by humanity was an intriguing concept indeed. This game gave us a unique outlook on life and many other philosophical lessons. To this day, we still consider Assassin's Creed 1 the epitome of good writing from Ubisoft. The modern day sections on the other hand, although being wanky as hell, were still pretty much praised. Many people today who criticize Assassin's Creed of being unrealistic don't know that science fiction has always been a part of this franchise from the beginning. The in-game mechanics like Eagle Vision and their character's feats which feel inhumane also have a reason in the lore, which is that they're somehow linked with the first civilization or if we say in more simple words, they have a unique form of DNA which originated all the way from Adam and Eve. You have to remember this point cause it's important. Anyways, let's move to the topic. After the widespread success of the first game, Ubisoft put faith and hard work into their upcoming title, which absolved every piece of criticism ranging from gameplay to story. And as a matter of fact, it is also considered as the best Ubisoft game. It's none other than Assassin's Creed 2. It featured the fan favorite character of Ezio Auditore da Firenze and his development from a rich brat to the wisest man on earth. His character development and story won the hearts of many, which may sound like a good thing but trust us, it ruined the franchise forever. After AC2, Ubisoft shifted all of their work into making Assassin's Creed Brotherhood as soon as possible. They saw potential in the story of Ezio and wanted to continue where they left off. Brotherhood became a widespread success and is even considered a best game in the series. But what can we say about Ubisoft? They wanted more money and they knew that it was coming from Ezio. So out of nowhere, they decided to pull a big brain move and made Assassin's Creed Revelations, which was originally wasn't supposed to be a mainland game. But to be honest, it wasn't necessary at all. Even if you skip it, there will be little to no effect on the mainland games, aside from the modern day storyline. But fortunately enough, Revelations concluded Ezio's story which surprisingly ended on a good note as Revelations not only concluded his story but Altair's as well. And there goes the original games and their stories. In 2011, Ubisoft announced that they are working on their biggest project to date, which will completely overhaul the franchise once and for all. 
and will also feature a new and fresh protagonist. Now this is where the glory days ended for Assassin's Creed. Once the trailer for Assassin's Creed 3 was dropped, fans started hating the new character for no particular reason, without even playing the game. And as we mentioned earlier, Ezio was the main reason for all of this. His character development was so peak that fans were not able to resonate any other character with him even if it meant that it was another of Desmond's ancestor. That was the exact point where the fandom divided. One portion wanted the old formula back which started from AC1 and ended with AC Revelations, whereas the other half was more innovative. They wanted improvement and new style so that the series does not become stale. This whole thing laid the foundation for the continuous criticism which we still see even today. After Assassin's Creed 3, Ubisoft released two more games using the same style as AC3 including Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag followed by Assassin's Creed Rogue, both of which gained enormous amount of good response and love from the fans along with some hate from the divided fandom as we mentioned earlier. These games featured big ships, naval combat, good looking parkour with almost good functionality and above all great stories, with the classic Assassin's Creed flavor embedded in them. The success of these games, well, primarily Assassin's Creed 4, motivated the studios to start working on a full-scale game made specifically for the new generation of consoles, which meant utilizing the potential of these machines to the fullest, and it was none other than the game which fans still haven't forgot, and it was Assassin's Creed Unity. Unity's release was quite rocky, it was unfinished and was not released in a good state. There were loads and loads of issues which if we start talking about will leave you in awe. But out of all the things that it did wrong was the staggering parkour system. Its functionality can be debated but how it looked and played out was loved by everyone. Now note this point as well, it will help you understand the current situation that's going on. After Unity's disastrous launch, Ubisoft decided to make another game but minus some things that they did wrong in Unity. Although it was originally going to be featuring Arno titled Assassin's Creed Victory which we won't go into depth. But note this that it got scrapped and we got Assassin's Creed Syndicate as a result. Which featured almost identical mechanics to Unity but not like Unity. It received poor reviews and was hated by many fans for its poor storytelling, cringiest moments and lack of character development. In short, the game was considered a failure. People started comparing it with Unity and surprisingly enough started to like that game even more. And this moment right here lads is the pivotal point where the bring back Unity trend started. Well, in its early stages of course. Ubisoft on the other hand carefully studied the behavior of the fans and finally decided that it's time to reboot. In 2017, Ubisoft announced their most ambitious title at the time, which was Assassin's Creed Origins. The game was hyped because of the fact that it was going to feature the entirety of Egypt as well as the origins of the Assassin Brotherhood. It also received a major graphical overhaul with improved animations and textures, with addition to some new features such as the targeting system which allowed the player to track targets individually rather than it being story controlled. But along all of that came a catch. The game featured some RPG elements, which meant that you need to reach a certain level to progress and complete missions. It was a hustle for sure, but it got overlooked. Origins became a massive success, with Ubisoft finally getting love and respect once again. But there's a saying that nothing lasts forever, right? Just after Origins, they announced their next title, which was Assassin's Creed Odyssey. The game was leaked before it even got announced and people were hyped. It released a year or less than a year after Origins but was met with heavy criticism regarding excessive grinding, annoying mechanics and the lack of character animations. It was all because of the fact that it was a full on RPG video game. People hated it and are still hating it. We will not get into the matter but in our opinion it was just a good game but not a good Assassin's Creed game to be honest. Anyways after Odyssey and its criticisms came AC Valhalla which promised to be a semi-return to the roots for the series, focusing on skills rather than grinding and as a matter of fact was done quite good than Odyssey, in some aspects, but was again met with criticism. 
The main reason for criticism in these games were the fact that they didn't feature actual assassins in them. Either they were rebranded as hidden ones or our main character wasn't even a hidden one. All of these criticisms forced Ubisoft to rethink their choices. And in September of 2022, they finally came back with another breaking news, which was Assassin's Creed Mirage. This announcement took the internet by storm because it was going to be an actual Assassin's Creed game just like the old ones, with more focus on story than gameplay. It was going to feature the same elements as the original game so it was going to be a grounded experience. People were hyped but when the gameplay dropped, well, the curse began. It got hated for no reason even though their wishes were fulfilled in the game. Don't get us wrong but it is what it is. Mirage was heavily criticized of being a copy and paste of Valhalla and many other problems for which it was accused of. It received mixed responses which it kinda didn't deserve as well. Anyways, let's move on. On June 2024, we got the cinematic trailer for the most anticipated Assassin's Creed game since its beginning, Assassin's Creed Shadows, which was going to be set in Japan, a setting which many people wanted ever since Assassin's Creed 1. But as soon as players saw Yasuke, they lost it. There were loads and loads of people on the internet criticizing developers for putting an historically inaccurate character in their game which wasn't even like that in real life. Well, when the gameplay dropped, fans became more and more furious and said that they should remove some things which they found offensive to respect the Japanese culture. Some other criticisms came from the game's parkour system with lack of smoothness and robotic animations. In simple words, the game looked unfinished. People again started demanding unity and out of all the loss and hate they received, they delayed this game to February 14th, 2025, thus continuing the cycle once again. Well folks, after everything we told you, it is clear that Assassin's Creed needs to take a break for some long amount of time. It is not what it used to be. The games that used to teach us something in life were then only used as cash grabs with promoting some unusual things. And it's becoming quite a problem. Maybe, maybe in the future, we fear that this whole franchise will be canned eventually or, if we're lucky enough, will be sold to some other major game development studio. The cycle is based on the company's greed and their rushed development. Their recent titles such as Star Wars Outlaws show that perfectly. The games have potential but they're getting ruined by Ubisoft and this should change. But only time will tell what will become of Ubisoft but it is certain that something bad is lurking in the corner. But that was it for today's video. What are your thoughts on this whole scenario? Do you agree with us or Ubisoft? Let us know in the comment section below and also subscribe if you like this video. Until then, we'll see you next time hopefully. So, these are Fact Spitters, signing out.